Does unprocessed beef not affect lipids? This meta-analysis has been making the rounds on social media, so let's dive a little deeper. So this was a meta-analysis of randomized control trials comparing unprocessed or minimally processed beef to a control diet that had no beef or lower amounts of beef. The results showed that there was no significant effect on serum lipids, except for a slight increase in LDL cholesterol, which was likely clinically insignificant and was attenuated after a sensitivity analysis removed one study. Now, unsurprisingly, some people are taking to social media and drawing erroneous conclusions like Max here, who says that there is virtually no heart health downside of beef. This meta-analysis has some major limitations. First and foremost, more than half of the studies match for saturated fat intake, so you're essentially eliminating one of the main mechanisms by which beef raises LDL cholesterol. For analogy's sake, let's say you wanted to see what was spicier, a banana or a habanero pepper. But before you tested this, you added a bunch of hot sauce to the banana to make sure that they had the same levels of capsaicin, which is the compound that makes things spicy. And then you came to the conclusion that a habanero pepper is no more spicy than a banana. This is pretty flawed logic. Another major issue is that the average high beef intake was 161 grams per day, and since they use lean beef, the amount of saturated fat was well below the recommended 10% of energy coming from saturated fat. And this was especially apparent in the two most heavily weighted studies. So this really tells us nothing about the people sharing this study that are eating greater amounts of beef or are not choosing lean varieties. And it is really interesting how a lot of the people parading around this study are often the quickest to slam a study for being industry funded, but in this case, no one's mentioned that it was funded by beef checkoff. Now, what is the context of this study in the overall literature on red meat consumption, specifically unprocessed meat and heart disease risk? For this, I'm going to pass it on to my friend, Dr. Matthew Nagra. Arguably the best randomized controlled trial on the topic was published in 2019 and pitted red meat protein, white meat protein, and plant protein against each other. The 113 participants ate all three protein sources for four weeks each in different orders, and the plant protein lowered LDL cholesterol and ApoB, which is an even better marker of cardiovascular risk compared to either type of meat. This was despite the researchers also taking steps to match saturated fat between the different diets, removing some of the almost inevitable benefits of choosing plants over meat. Yet the plant protein still came out on top. Now this study wasn't included in the beef meta-analysis because although the vast majority of the protein in the red meat diet did come from beef, there was a sliver of pork. And if we zoom out from markers like LDL cholesterol and ApoB and look at long-term outcomes, substituting just a serving of unprocessed red meat per day with either legumes or nuts can lower the risk of coronary heart disease by 17% and 12% respectively with larger benefits compared to processed processed meat based on a meta-analysis of prospective studies, with additional studies suggesting a reduction in mortality risk as well. In fact, these benefits of swapping out even small to moderate amounts of red meat for plant protein sources are some of the most consistent findings across the nutrition literature.